Hi, I'm Francis, the host of this show, Cooking with Doug. こんにちは。今日はアイスクリームの天ぷらです。衣が破裂しないように頑張ります。First, dampen an ice cream scoop and make the vanilla ice cream into a bowl. Then, place it onto a chilled tray. Make the chocolate and matcha ice cream balls as well, and store them in the freezer to harden. Next, slice Castilla sponge cake into 5mm slices and wrap each ice cream with them as shown. You can also use regular sponge cake instead of the Castilla. The food preparation gloves will help avoid melting the ice cream. Make sure to tightly close the gaps, otherwise, the ice cream will melt and leak when deep fried. Wrap the bowl with plastic wrap. Then, let the ice cream sit in the freezer for at least 2 to 3 hours to thoroughly firm up. And now, let's make the tempura batter. Combine the cold water and cake flour in a bowl. Mix with a balloon whisk. Heat the frying oil to about 190 degrees Celsius, which is a relatively high temperature for deep frying. Remove one piece of the ice cream bowl from the freezer. And coat it with the batter. Then gently place it into the oil. Ladle the hot oil over the bowl. Make sure not to touch the ice cream until the outside batter firms up. Deep fry it for about a total of 30 seconds until the surface turns lightly colored. Remove and place it onto a plate. Finally, drizzle on the raspberry sauce. Jam! Enjoy the fresh ice cream tempera before the inside begins to melt. You can store lots of ice cream tempera in the freezer and impress your friends at a party. カステラが断熱材になって衣は熱々だけどアイスが溶けてないこれは感動です The first thing to remember when trying this recipe is tightly wrap the ice cream without any gaps The second thing is to thoroughly harden the castella wrapped ice cream in the freezer Good luck in the kitchen!